Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. And this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. And uh, this week in the Northern Hemisphere, we have the winter solstice. So we welcome winter in and uh, uh, Let's see what the cards have for you. Okay, so we have Judgment, the Major Arcana. We have Temperance, also the Major Arcana, and we have the Seven of Cups. So, Judgment. Here we see the naked people rising out of their coffin, greeting the angel who's blowing the horn, blowing the fanfare. And so what's really happening here is that people are awakening. People are rising up and listening to the sound, listening to the call. And so sometimes in our life, we get this feeling that something is calling to us. Um, and so it's important to take note of it because sometimes, you know, we, we travel through life. We do the same thing every day. We have the same job. Maybe we've been in the same job for many, many, many years. And there can be a, a, you know, days when you feel like is, you know, is this all there is? Or, you know, am I really doing what I want to do on my limited time on earth? And so judgment comes in to say, I want you to evaluate. It's the word judge. I want you to take judgment of your own life. What has happened before this point? Well, you can think about it, you can dwell on it, but really you're going to cleanse it and let it go. You're going to be forgiven of your sins. You're going to have that clean slate, a ritual cleansing. You deserve that clean slate and you have to listen to within to be able to hear you know, what the voice is telling you to do, how to be your best self, what the universe's grand design is for you. Sometimes we know, but we suppress it. We don't want to deal with it because change can be challenging, but really judgment is about taking, um, the internal evaluation of your life. What is it that you're doing? Can I make room in my life for the second chance for a rebirth, for a reawakening? a chance to start new, to be, uh, you know, to have the purpose that I feel that I'm compelled to do. So the first part is to listen to the call and to really think about where you see yourself. What is it that you want? If you were to be reborn, if you were to have a second chance, where would that path take you? And so this judgment can happen at any time, at any point, in a lifetime, it doesn't matter age, but it really is this um, internal movement that you feel that you have to do something. And again, reawakening, transformation, change, second chance. So with this internal view and internal process, here's temperance, which is saying, uh, make sure that you take care of yourself in all aspects of your life, integrating your emotional health, your physical health, your mental state, and that you are treating each of them kindly and gently so that you feel balanced, so that you don't feel that you're not equal in certain areas of your life, that if you're working a hundred hour weeks, that's an extreme. And so perhaps there's something you can do to regain balance. Temperance is about finding the middle ground. It's about doing what you need to do to restore, to allow yourself to catch your breath and to, you know, create a better vessel so that when you do have rebirth and when you do make changes that you're in your best possible frame of mind, not only mentally and emotionally, but physically as well. So, when we think of temperance, it's also a matter of listening to the guides, listening to uh, the heavens, the universe, dropping down the messages. I'd also say tune into 
your, you know, tune into your intuitive channels. Everybody has it. It's no, you know, uh, everybody has it. You have to work on it. If you don't feel that you're intuitive or psychic, you really have to think about how you can bring into these messages. It's really is reflection and it is introspection as well. So finding the balance, getting the call and really thinking about higher purpose. What am I meant to do? What's my purpose here on earth while I'm still living? And then we have the seven of cups and the seven of cups. We see the man here staring at all the options. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't it fantastic to have a shelf full of possibilities? Well, yes, it is because we can imagine it. We can desire it. We can fantasize about it. It can make us feel good on some days. What if, what if I won the lottery, then I would do this. And you know, sometimes we know that it's unlikely to happen, but it's still a fun thing to do. So here we have looking at all the options and we are maybe uh, tantalized by them. It's a good starting point to have a vision, to be imaginative, to have big dreams. That's how things are accomplished. That's how new designs are created. And so with the seven of cups, what is this saying that with, in terms of your possibilities that you have choices, you have probably a lot on your mind that you think might capture your highest purpose. The real trick is to try to hone in perhaps and prioritize one of the cups and pursue that area. You may find along the path that maybe it doesn't work and then you pivot and you shift into something new. But it's the dreaming big and it's the listening to the call and it's actually, as the Beatles said in Hey Jude, the movement you need is on your shoulder and it's on you to make the moves in order to have a reawakening starts from within. So seven of cups, options, possibilities, things that you dream about or fantasize about. And again, sitting around eating bonbons and just fantasizing every day may not get you on a new course. You have to maybe hone in, think about what you're going to do, give it a shot, that doesn't work out, then there are other possibilities for you. There always are. And sometimes in the darndest places, um, you know, an activity or something that you've done really strikes a chord. So I think it's a lovely spread for the day. Let's take a look at what we have in terms of numbers. We have, put my glasses on, we have 20 and 14, that's 34, and 34, and seven is 41, and 41 reduces to five. Five is about, can be challenges, can be about conflict, having to be um, flexible and to adapt. And, uh, you know, it also can signal new changes, a new cycle. And then finally, let me choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. So to be strong, we all are very, very strong. And uh, we may have doubts that we are, but when the flames, you know, when the fan hits, what's the, what's the expression? When the flames hit the, uh, I don't know, but you know what I'm trying to say that when the moment hits, you really find out how strong you are. So friends, I hope that you found this reading helpful today. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. It's an easy way to support the readings and like this video, share this video, comment below. I thank you for your time and stopping by and watching. I hope you have a super day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.